previously on Wake for Me. So I thought I'd make a list of things that need to be done. And I come up with one thing that needs to be done. I need to remove the depth sounder transducer off the bottom of the hall. Oh, and remove the sound supposed. Okay, two things that need to be done. Remove the depth sounder transducer off the bottom of the hall. Remove the sound from pulse. Okay, so these are the bits that Dread Pirate Biff was talking about when he was talking about Samson Post. They are, in fact, called Samson Post. Now, I don't know if you know why they're called Samson Post, but it's because Jezebel shaved off their hair and they became incredibly weak. No, no, that's not it. No. Uh, they're called Samson Post because they're supposed to be strong, like Samson was. The actual post runs down through the deck and is connected to the bulkhead that sits right behind them here and the idea is that you can tie off um, anchor road to it for a tow or you can tie off anchor road to it if you're at anchor and you've got a really stormy sea or you can tie off to a dock or you can tie off to anything where there's going to be a lot of stress and strain involved uh, the samson they're meant to be strong The problem with these ones is that they're rotten. Come and have a look. So the bowsprit used to sit right through here. And uh, <clears throat> where the bowsprit was sitting up against, you can see where it used to sit right there and there. Where it was sitting up against the uh, post, it began to rot. And it is thoroughly rotten. And in fact, up here, I can, I can push my thumb into it like that. And the same on the other side here. The rot looks like it starts around the bolt hole. There's a, a massive bolt that goes through both Samson posts and the uh, bowsprit for added strength. And it looks like uh, it was never treated or sealed or anything. And the rot starts around the bolt and then just goes down. So my intention with this refit is to make the boat seaworthy. And any boat without solid Samson posts on it isn't seaworthy. So... Um, this is a must fix. This is not an optional fix on the boat before it goes back in the water. And uh, tonight's the night when I attempt to take them out. So I don't really know what I'm doing because I've never taken Samson Post out before. But I'm going to get down into the uh, chain locker. The chain locker is right under the uh, foredeck here. And uh, have a look. I think it's just a matter of uh, bolts. But if it's like everything else on this bolt, it's probably glued in or sealed in with devil's glue. Who knows what else? We're going to give it a shot and hope for the best. The uh, daylight's fading quick. It's about um, 20, 20 after 4, 4.30. Um, so not much time, but I've got the uh, LED, LED lights down below to brighten things up down there. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Welcome to the V-Birth. It's all warm and uh, cozy up here. The temperature tonight is supposed to go around to minus 2 or something, but it's actually fairly warm inside the boat because of the insulation. And... Uh, it's cozy, so I think I'll have a nap. No, no, that's not why we're here. We're in the V-Birth because we're going to take the Samson posts out, which are in the chain locker. This piece of wood here is the portion of the Samson post that comes down through the deck and is fastened down below. There's another post there. And that's the other Samson post. So let's get inside the uncomfy hole and have a look and see what we need to take these bad boys out. Okay, so there are two bolts down at the bottom and two bolts at the top and that is it for solid fixings we simply go into the bulkhead which is a creates or half inch piece of plywood doesn't strike me as being particularly strong but it's worked all these years I don't think it's going to fail now so I'm going to get busy and do those things and uh, see what happens. It doesn't even look like that. Might be a bit of an issue of the uh, uh, 
insulation and maybe some sealant up there. But other than that, those things come right out. Well, I'm becoming boat wise in my old age, as I suspected, a uh, fairly straightforward job is not going to be a fairly straightforward job. I managed to get the top two bolts um, undone, but the bottom two, one I got the nut off, the other one, the bolt just turns with the nut, which means that the head of the bolt um, is spinning around in wood. Now, if you look up here, these are brass or bronze bolts and uh, they're carriage heads. There's nothing to grab onto to stop the bolt from turning. And on top of that, the bolt heads for the lower bolt are down here in behind this piece of plywood. Now, I thought maybe the plywood was <clears throat> loose so I just gave it a little tug at the top here to see what would happen and it just tore off in my hands it looks to me as if that was there was a seam there but it is rotten and there's the other bolt right there so that one shouldn't be too much more of a problem to get out, but it's compadre on the other side, right there. So the other one is going to be way back here somewhere. Carriage has head bolts and a rotten piece of plywood. Now I'm going to figure out how to turn those bad boys out, get the nuts off them, or that one anyway. Oh, bear with me and I'll get right on that. Moving forward, I have um, decided I'm going to knock the top two bolts out, um, knock the bottom one that's free out, and then I'm going to try and jam a busted screwdriver in behind the washer of the one that's stuck, and uh, then put a vice grip on the carriage bolt head, and hopefully that'll provide enough leverage to turn the nut off of it. Kind of a crapshoot, we'll see. Well, I've struggled trying several methods and ways to hold the carriage bolt head in place while I try and turn the the nut off uh, and failed so far. So uh, I have decided to resort to drastic measures and the tool that has saved my butt more than once, the Fane Multimaster is going to be used once again. This of course will use, <clears throat> will leave a great big hole in the bulkhead. Um, but I, I kind of suspect where that bolt is, the bulkhead's probably rotten given the shape of the plywood in front of it. Um, so I'm either going to have to replace the bulkhead or simply fiberglass it up drill a hole through it for the next carriage bolt. Uh, either way, the multi-tool is going into action. Oh yes, it is. Stand by. So the question every shipwright has to ask himself at some point in time is, is it worth it? And should I get the same tool out? I did get the same tool out. And it did the job. Here is what's left of my Samson post. You can see the little chunks here. Let me turn a light on this. There you can see this portion was above the deck. There's the bolt holes. And there's the other one. Oh, it's rot. The way I managed to get them out, I, I could not stop the uh, carriage bolt from turning. There's the bolt head. There's the bolt head right there. 
and then that right there. So as soon as you put a, a wrench or a ratchet on that, that nut just spins and spins and spins and spins and spins, and there's no way to uh, get anything on it to grab it because it's just like a half half round. So not a particularly clever way of building a Samson post. I don't know whether they ran out of uh, hex head nut uh, bolts or what the rationale. Maybe they just didn't figure anyone would be taking these out at any time, but um, there you go. I'm still gonna have to get that off of there in order to reuse it. And I'm gonna keep these Samson posts as patterns for the new ones. But uh, for now, that's it. I'm going to clean up put my tools away and uh, plug the hole up on deck. Call it a night. Hope you enjoyed that. So if you like these videos and you wanna see more of them, do plus uh, like, give a big thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you want. It uh, works well for me. So fair winds, following seas, God bless.